Thank you, Dr. Transu, and hello, everybody. Uh, sorry I couldn't be there in person, uh, so I thought I'd shoot a short little video to give you an update on the CTC Link project. First off, first off, I want to let everybody know that we're about two months away uh, from our go live date. November 17th is, is, our, is our go live day. And uh, so that means that uh, on November 14th, Friday, November 14th, you'll leave for the weekend. And Monday, November 17th, we'll have the CTC Link system up and running. Um, the application is called PeopleSoft, and it will let us do things like uh, allow students to register for classes. Uh, it'll be a replacement for the instructor briefcase, uh, you know, a tool for entering grades at, at the end of the quarter. Um, it'll, our payroll system will be in this in this application, as well as our ability to purchase things will all happen through this system. So it's a, as well as, as well as many other things. Uh, it's a very big application that covers a lot of different areas. Um, the three major pillars being finance, uh, human resources, and, and student services and, and campus uh, solutions. So enrollment services, advising, all those kinds of things. So it's, it's a huge application uh, and a lot of people have been hard at work trying to get, get ready for go live and uh, we're two months away. Uh, second, uh, I want to talk about a few uh, major activities that are happening right now. Uh, the first is uh, we're finalizing our very last data validation cycle. Um, it, which is conversion cycle six, so it's the last validation that we're going to have before we go live. Uh, there'll be one more conversion that happens just as we go live, um, so that we have all the latest up-to-date information in the, in the PeopleSoft environment. But this is the last uh, validation cycle that we have where we can spend a lot of time looking through the data uh, and making sure everything is good. Um, next thing we have up is user acceptance testing, and that's actually the reason why I'm not there today. Um, we, uh, we're, we're well underway in uh, testing out various aspects of the system. So college staff have been coming in uh, and they've been assigned specific uh, test scripts to run through in the system. And they're working with um, CTC Link support staff to go through these test scripts and make sure that the various aspects of the system are functioning the way they should um, and to help us uh, prep for that go live date. And so people are really working hard to, to get through all those test scripts so that we have, uh, we've test, fully tested the system and we know that it's uh, ready to go for November 17th. Uh, the next thing that we have going on, uh, major activity, is training. Um, and it, the, it officially starts, the just-in-time training piece officially starts uh, in the middle of uh, November, but we actually have some training activities that are happening this week during Professional Development Week. Uh, first up, we have uh, employee self-service, and this is all in your schedule. Employee self-service on Tuesday from 1 to 3.30 and 16.208. And then we have student self-service. So this is really geared for um, folks that support students so they can uh, learn the self-service tools that students will have so they can help them navigate, uh, navigate PeopleSoft uh, student self-service. That happens from 2 to 3 on Tuesday in 15.107. And then on Wednesday, there's a requisition session. I know it said ad advisor center slash requisitions and they were trying to determine if they would be able to do the advisor center piece, but it's not quite ready to go yet. So they're going to offer the requisitions uh, workshop and that'll be from 1 to 4. I know it says 1 to 3.30, uh, but the requisitions one is a little bit longer. And that'll be in 16.209. And then uh, and then finally be faculty self-service on Wednesday from 3 to 5 in 16.208. And if you plan to attend any of those sessions, the trainers uh, have requested that, uh, that you spend a little time uh, learning the uh, PeopleSoft navigation. And I'll show you where you can find that, that information. So if you go to our video blog site, which is ctclink dot tacomacc.edu and just click on the resources tab at the top and the very first link you'll see there is the CTC link training site and if you click that link it'll take you to the training site and then there's the um, the fundamentals links so campus solutions human capital management and finance and so if you're attending um, the requisition session um, you'll want to go through the finance uh, fundamentals if you're going to the employee self-service um, you'll want to do the HCM and then if you're going to the student self-service or the faculty self-service you'll want to go through the CS uh, components. Um, so they've asked that you kind of review those so that you're prepped and ready. So those are the the major updates I wanted to give on the project. Um, there's a lot of a lot of activity happening um, and things are coming pretty quick. Um, but before I go I just wanted to ask uh, all the folks that have part that participated in the hands-on workshops in Bellevue uh, August 25th through the 28th and those that uh, have participated in UAT or are scheduled to participate in UAT um, user acceptance testing if, if those folks could stand up 
um, I'd like to recognize all of those folks because these are the these are the folks here that are that are they're really doing the brunt of the work and making sure that we have this system uh, ready to go by November 17th. And so I just wanted to recognize them and if everybody could give them a hand and I'll see you next time.